Hello everyone. So today I want to talk to you about the malaria miasm. So I've just recently started a series on the Hyaluconst miasms. And so if you want to know what miasms are before you start this video, you can check that video out. I'll leave the link here <laughs> or in the description box below. So you can check that out before you start this video if you'd like to. So malaria is basically the second miasm in the season. So we started with Sora, which is in September. So Sora was the original miasm and then um, so from September to mid-October and then we have malaria which starts mid-October through November. So we've just left malaria season. Now malaria is the miasm I actually see the least of and it's probably because we haven't had malaria in Canada since the 1840s and then it was really only in Ontario. Um, the states, however, had malaria until the 1950s and of course other countries still struggle with malaria and um, so it is actually the miasm that I know the least about because I don't treat it as much you know some people will come to me and we don't necessarily have all of the miasms usually we have most of them but malaria is the one that I see that people generally don't have. If they're not going to have one, it will generally be malaria. However, I do have some people who've been seeing me for years who malaria is one of their biggest miasms. And um, one of those um, ladies, their family is from the southern states. And like I said, the states had malaria until the 1950s. And then another lady who's been seeing me for years as well, malaria was a very big miasm for her or is a very big miasm for her. And her family, um, her parents came to Canada from India and so obviously there's still active cases of malaria today in India and so yeah in Canada I don't see it a ton but we still do see it yeah so with malaria the state of mind that goes along with that is one of victimization so we have four four miasms that have a theme of victimization in the state of mind and they sort of get progressively darker <laughs> and so malaria I always call it victimization light <laughs> so the state of mind with malaria is one of feeling like you're being picked on or singled out or you're at the mercy of outside forces so things keep coming at you in a way where you're you're feeling somewhat victimized um, similar to the way you would if mosquitoes were coming after you and mosquitoes love me so I know that feeling very well <laughs> and so if you have sort of outside circumstances in your life coming at you in that way sort of feeling yeah singled out and picked on then um, yeah it could be the malaria miasm and so the physical things with malaria malaria are general sort of weariness you know like if you go for a uh, you go for a walk and then you start oh you feel weak so you just like a general weariness um, there's headaches with it there's fevers with it um, there's digestive stuff primarily within the liver region and uh, yeah those are the big ones but I mean the big one is that that weariness with it and then the feeling of victimization <laughs> it's like good times anyway um next week i'm going to be talking about inherited tuberculosis and that is one i know intimately that's a big one in my family and um so if you haven't done so already subscribe to my channel and ring the little bell and it'll give you a notification when i put that video out and i didn't actually introduce myself but i'm stacy die and i'm a halkins practitioner and creator of the express your truth eight step emotional empowerment program and i hope you enjoyed this video so if you did please give me a like and comment. It helps to get my message out there. All right, so enjoy your day and I will talk to you soon.